Good morning, friends. Welcome to Morning Prayer from Christ Episcopal Church. My name is Katherine Montgomery. Today is Friday, May 26th. I'm pre-recording Morning Prayer for you uh, because I will actually be at seminary next week in New York. Um, but I'm glad to still uh, do Morning Prayer with y'all even though it's ahead of time. So I uh, will go ahead and get started. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Continuing in our prayer book on page 80, Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And we'll read Christ our Passover on page 83. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. And our psalms this morning are Psalms 102, just Psalm 102. So if you are in your prayer book, you can turn to page 731 in the Psalter, and we'll read Psalm 102. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass like a shadow, and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come, for your servants love her very rubble and are moved to pity even for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high. From the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive, and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O oh Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear out like a garment. As clothing, you will change them, and they shall be changed. But you are always the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading for this morning is from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. A reading from the gospel according to Luke. 
Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. Martha was distracted by her many tasks, and so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our canticle is a song to the Lamb, number 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And we'll say the Apostles' Creed together, which can be found on page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. I think I might be having some audio issues. I hope not, but give me one second here. Okay. Go ahead and keep going. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the collect of the day, let us pray. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior, Christ, has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. And today, Friday the 26th, is the feast day of Augustine, the first Archbishop of Canterbury. So we'll say his collect as well. Let us pray. O Lord our God, who by your Son Jesus Christ called your servant Augustine to preach the gospel to the English people, we pray that all whom you call and send may do your will, bide your time, and see your glory. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And the call it for Fridays. Let us pray. Almighty God, who is most dear Son, went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we'll just take a few moments to offer our own prayers of intercession to God. So you might like to pause the video if you'd like to have a few moments of prayer on your own, um, but I'll go ahead and um, continue us now. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this day, for all the blessings of our lives. We give you thanks for those things and those people that we're especially grateful for today, naming them either silently or out loud. 
And God, we also pray for those who are suffering, for healing, for those who are sick, for resilience and patience for those who are struggling, for solace for those who are grieving. And we pray now for those concerns of our hearts, naming them either silently or out loud. God, we give you thanks for our church. We pray that you would make us a light to one another and to our community in the example of Jesus, your son. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. And now we'll close our time together by saying the general thanksgiving, which can be found on page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer. Hope um, that y'all will be at church on Pentecost, May 28th. Wear red or orange or yellow, and there's going to be cake and a beautiful big bilingual service at 1115 in the um, sanctuary and lots of other options for worship too. So hope you can make it and I hope you have a wonderful Friday. See you next time. Bye-bye.